How Amen. could you watch somebody bludgeon a person yes. Mm -hmm. yes. like that and believe that they were a sworn yes. officer sworn to protect and serve? They forgot both of those values. We are here for the express purpose of making sure that the community and the nation knows that we are in support of the person who was savagely beat by the CHP in California. And we are not, we are not satisfied nor we will, will we accept a investigation of this case by the CHP. We will not accept an investigation as being the conclusive investigation on this case by the CHP. That is tantamount to hiring the fox to guard the chicken coop. It's so important that you see this array of beautiful black women because this is our mother that was beat. This is our sister. This is this is our children. This time it's a black woman. Last week it was a black man. Last week it was our son. And we want to make sure that next week it's not us. And it should not have taken uh, two press conferences to get her a CAT scan when you witnessed her face being pounded into the cement as it was. It's a no-brainer. It seems to me that the officer is the one who should be on an involuntary hold because he's a danger to the community right. and he's right. a danger to others and he should be psychiatrically evaluated right now and he should be in anger management, not manning a desk, but in anger management classes. I've never seen this level of brutality against a woman, ever. And it is shocking to see the callousness on which this officer was throwing punches against a woman who was on her back. And for me, and for all of everyone here, it is important that the demonization of her does not occur. When you, in fact, assault a person who is down defensively and you rain blows on their body and their face and they're not fighting you back, that is assault and battery as a violation of, of criminal laws and the district attorney's office should clearly look into that to determine whether or not it meets the standard because on its face it clearly looks like it as well as as well as whether or not these are civil rights criminal violations i'm certainly looking at the civil rights violation from the federal side or the state side but you know when a police officer engages in excessive force of this level that very well can be federal criminal violations. And the Justice Department, the U.S. Attorney's Office, should also evaluate this fact pattern. Typically, I would ask for the Attorney General, but the Attorney General represents the, the CHP. I thought as a black woman and our black daughters, maybe we were a little safe, but we have gotten comfortable. We thought that they were just after our black men. We forgot that they were after us and our children as well. And I'm afraid. If I have a tail light out, I don't want to pull over for a police officer because I'm in fear of my life.